All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Readers. We're going to do an EV sector review. There was a viewer request on it, and quite frankly, these are doing very, very well. On top of these just by themselves doing well, today was a very, very nice day for NASDAQ. All right, you hear me say this all the time. A normal indice day is half a percent up or down. To surpass 1% is big. To surpass 1.5% is huge. Going more than a 2% day on an index, that's monster. And I know it looks small when we're looking at like 20%, 30%, 300% runners every now and then, right? But um, that's a big candle, all right? Clearly, we're coming up to a very big wall. We got multiple moving averages. We got multiple important moving averages, right? So important to see how that reacts. 17.5, I remember saying that on the last video, that's basically still a wall right now, right? We're looking for 17.6, 17.7, um, in that range to believe, right? And again, looking at QQQ, um, exact same setup, right? I'm not gonna talk about Tesla on this video, but you have to at least flash it, right? Tesla has been and continues to try, all right? That's, that's the easiest thing I can say. We're still under that 50 moving average. We're still in this cluster of three lines. And truth be told, you can arguably call this a cluster of all five still, right? It's kind of a 10% difference between all five of them, right? So still haven't broken 230 well enough. Obviously my line's at 229, but hey, Tesla is looking good, right? Better than worse. You know, we have positive MACD, not a bad RSI, volumes close, right? There's, there's a bunch of things to like here. And when you combine the Tesla good with that NASDAQ good, oh man, that should help a lot of these, right? Polestar, I know this doesn't look that fantastic, but I mean, look at that monster uptrend, right? Battling the 200, excited to talk about that one. Lucid, 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 look at this thing. We've been battling the 200 here as well, right? It's actually been a little bit more than a month at this point too, and I'm liking what today did. It's coming down a little bit after hours. Hours, but that means nothing to me, all right? And then NEO. NEO has been crushing it. And it's funny because I actually didn't know that NEO was um, about to and already did do the earnings, right? So the earnings is what took this that much further. But yeah, this was a beautiful setup even before that thing dropped, right? So a lot to like on the individual three. Pull star. There we go. Excuse me, a lot to like on these individual three. And again, when NASDAQ looks good, when, when QQQ looks good, when Tesla, arguably the king of EVs, the queen of EVs for my ladies watching this, right? Um, it's, it's, it, it's all good, right? So um, yeah, excited to talk about all this and more. But before we do go any further and I give you more of my thoughts and opinions, what are we going to do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. I'm a little surprised, but yeah, there's one right there. We have some horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we are done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can, please subscribe to this channel, share this video online with your friends, comment good or bad if you disagree. Look, anything you can do helps so, so much with these YouTube algorithms, but for real, just being here, giving me your time, oh, I'm so, so thankful and so, so grateful, all right? So let's talk about Polestar, all right? And before I talk about the immediate, there's actually two things jumping out at me, all right? And I know I said it on the last video and I'm gonna start with it. Polestar is riding the eight moving average like a champion. All we're doing is bouncing on it, bouncing on it, and, and, and bouncing back up on it, right? We have never lost the eight since this uptrend. This is still a very, very healthy, a very, very strong, and a very, very fresh 20 moving average, all right? So I love how, how we've been riding it. I'm, I'm wildly impressed that we've, we actually never even opened below it. And it looks like just really, yeah, we, ha we haven't even wicked below it, right? Like that was the only wick and it looks like it barely touched it, right? So my 
goodness on that, okay? The one thing I talked about, I'm gonna zoom out right now and show it, all right? Look at this 200 moving average line, all right? Since the day it was created, basically on the 201st trading day, right? When they can take the average of that last 200. Since that day, right? All the way back in, let's call it April 23, we have never been over it well. All right, we looks like we had a couple days maybe over it there. We've obviously had a couple days over it here and you know I'll talk about the immediate, but again, for basically an entire year and more importantly, since that purple 200 moving average, the one that I say is the hardest, the, the toughest and the, and the last for a reason, since its inception, we have been struggling with it, let alone basically never touching it, right? So you've got to keep that in mind as we're here right now, as we're battling right now, right? And look, clearly we've been over that line for the last couple of days, right? I see it, right? Monday opens over, Monday actually gaps up over it. Tuesday and obviously today, even with the red day on Wednesday, we're still over that purple line, right? None of those makes me believe we've broken the line just yet, okay? So as disappointed as I am in the fail of the 200, I'm just seeing two very, very, very strong moving averages, all right? And hey, if we were to lose 140, I would actually still be very bullish all the way down to 115, okay? And truth be told, I still think that that 20 moving, look again, I'm not here pretending I'm smart enough to know the math behind these lines, right? I'm for sure not counting the last 20 days put dividing by 20 and then putting the dot there, right? I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and see what it does, right? But yeah, I'm guessing we're gonna maintain or maybe even improve the line. I can see us actually getting to that 115 I just mentioned tomorrow, right? But um, I'm hoping this keeps going up over the next days and days and we actually never go below the 20 moving average. That's, that's truly what I would like, okay? What I'm doing now is zooming back to the last uptrends and arguably, it was this, all right? And, and what I'm looking at is actually holding the eight really well. Once we lost it, man, the 20 moving average did nothing. So that makes me just a little bit worried right there. Even right here, you can see it. That's a nice uptrend. 20 moving average does absolutely nothing and then we keep going down, right? So, hey, even right there, right? That's a deep, look, I've, even right there, right? So. I am now a little, and I swear I did, I, pfft, that, that was a live little moment right there. I have less confidence in that 20 moving average than I did seconds ago, right? Like, I don't like how badly it's failed. I think that means I'm going to adjust my comment. I am bullish over 130, okay? And I'm, I'm still relatively bullish over 122, I think losing 122 would be very bad. Truth be told, that, that 128, 130 is probably a little bit better, but hey, different risk reward tolerances, maybe I'm willing to accept it. The problem with this candle though, right? Like that's a big green, 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 and really all that's a, like, it's just, yeah. I, one, 130 is probably, you know, there's no such thing as safe in this crazy stock market that we've loved, right? But yeah, 130 might be that, that safer line to hold, all right? So look, this still looks good as it is, all right? Though we're, we haven't broken and confirmed, again, this is a hard, hard line, right? I can see us in the, and hey, let's just say one more thing before I say the next sentence. 70 is not a bad RSI. 80 is normally where I start getting a little worried, right? I don't like that dip right there. I can actually see a little bit of red and, and a little bit of green under it. Let me just confirm. Yeah, look, you can see it over there. The average five is 71. The RSI is 70, right? So yeah, red is over green right there. Nonetheless, these two should hold. I would love to hold 140. I would love to never go below 140 and never have to make that 130, 122 decision, right? But the, the line's not our friend just yet. This eight is our friend. And I think as long as we're over it, as long as we believe it's cradling this move and just riding on us, uh, I'm making like a little baby cradle hand right now. You know what I mean? Like this is our, this is our protection. 
once we lose it, it could be scary, especially knowing how bad that 20 moving average is, all right? One comment you can make is, hey, I just said five, the last five 20 moving average moments, give or take, were bad. Maybe the sixth one will be the different one, right? I don't like playing that game. I like seeing the charts and believing consistency is gonna happen until it proves me otherwise. You know what I mean? So I would expect the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and 10th one to keep doing the same thing until the chart says, no, 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 times are different. You know what I mean? So um, the struggle with the 200's okay, it is. And I remember saying it, yeah, for sure, it has to be, right? It was coupled with the exact same struggle with the 50 moving average on the weekly right since its inception and through this week we've never closed over that line this was the first wick moment and hey that alone is pretty huge obviously we want more right but hey it's doing enough to start golden crosses and that's not a bad thing right so i i, I think patience is a little important here and it's funny because i rarely use that word right i'm a i'm a day mover right like i i you know but this this no reason for me to think anything other than bullish until we maybe lose that eight moving average, all right? So hopefully we never lose 140. Once we get into that 130, 122 range, you gotta see what's up. Because honestly, I can see this falling as low as like 95 cents. And and that would be a bad fall from 50 cents. That's about a 33% fall, right? Roughly losing 50 and you've got three 50 cent pieces, right? So um, yeah, and that'd be a 20% drop from that 120. Cool. No, I like that. I think that's a, a that's a good amount of pull star. Let me know if there's any news or fund, fundamental reasons that, um, you know, I missed. Um, but yeah, I think that was a good technical breakdown. We looked at the weekly as well. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Even if you disagree, let's take a look at Lucid. So Lucid, I think very, very much echoes a lot of what I just said with Polestar, all right? And, and the whole story is the 200 moving average. It really, this, like, this is a very textbook line. If you follow any moving average strategy people, I would say nine out of the 10 should have the 200 moving average. That's, a, and I don't care if it's exponential or simple, all right? But the 200 MA is a textbook, textbook line. You know what I mean? And it's generally the last one for a reason. And as I zoom out and zoom out and zoom out, I mean, we have been under, 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 under that purple line basically since 2002 sorry, 2022, excuse me, right? For more than two years, right? That's been a difficult line. So you, you, you can't just assume the line is, is, is like any of the other ones, you know what I mean? So um, real quick, hey, if you can subscribe, if you can share, oh man, it would do wonders, all right? So I wanna talk about this moment right here. I always say it. I always say it, and believe me, sometimes I don't follow the rules. Believe me, it's so much easier to say it on videos. It's so much easier to type it on any social media things, right? But you can't get overly excited about a single candle, all right? This is a big, bad, beautiful candle right there, July 12th this year. This is what getting over the 200 moving average looks like, destroying the next resistance line up and almost wicking the second line up, right? I mean, that is a monster, monster single candle. But you can't, you, you, even with that, even with that monsterness, you need a confirmation after it, you really do. Because again, I'm looking to confirm a sustainable uptrend, not just this little, you know, hello and goodbye that we basically see here, right? And again, another rule that it very much broke, we lost way more than 50% of that big candle, right? We fell all the way down here, right? So if you're not gonna confirm, if you're gonna lose more than 50%, it completely makes sense to me that we're gonna fall. You know what I mean? So. Big, 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 big learning moment right there. I might actually chapter this as a knowledge center one because, because yeah, that 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 January 12th for real might have faked me out. I'm not even pretending that I'd be like good enough for this, but I know back in the day, this would have destroyed me. It really would have, right? Because, hey, you fall from basically over four down to three. That's a, that's a scary 25% move, right? That might have 
freak some people out. Luckily, some stuff happened, and hey, some stuff actually happened to be a technical support of a very important line on its own, right? The 100 moving average. So um, yeah, that that little nugget I, I, I for sure want to talk about. From there, look, this whole thing from July through today, truth be told, this is all about the 200 moving average. I'm very, very shocked that this didn't bring more all right, I really am, right? And I wanna to go to the weekly. I think, no, no, it was this one. It was this one. Man, I'm real surprised that one didn't bring more. Cause look, that's a good candle. I for sure would have called one, even that one I would have called confirmation. That's not a doji, you got the wicks up and down, but that's a good enough big candle, excuse me. Man, did we ever close over that? What was that? 425 was the close of that same candle. Wait, no, not 425. Yeah, it was 420. I'm a little baby dyslexic and I get worried. Wow, that closed at 426. That did close a penny higher, but that one I would maybe call a doji. Oh man, I'm looking at a chart in the past for, for oh man, interesting. Yeah, that's a little bit of an anomaly, but again, a good another rule that I throw out every now and then is get over that biggest candle to your left. It did it by a penny. But ugh, maybe because it was a doji, it was shady. Nonetheless, let's talk about today and onward, right? I really like what's going on here a lot, okay? Again, we tried to but couldn't. We tried to, actually did a lot better. And at the minimum, the I couldn't wasn't as bad. All right, and what does that basically mean? We never went back under the 200 moving average, right? On this attempt, we did go under even a here. You can call this a reattempt. I wouldn't, but let's just do it for, 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 I wanted to say a bad word and I didn't. The hardest thing about making these videos is not cursing, by the way. Um, but that went back under. This, you can even call it something, went back under, right? On this last attempt up, we didn't so far go back under the 50 moving average actually held it right and we were able to bounce so it feels like this should not go any lower than 375 at this point it actually makes me feel like three sorry 440 makes way more sense than i'll even say 375 i think the 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 what 50 cent i can't do the math wow that's horrible it's, it's, it's whatever, I can't do the math. I think this line is a little more realistic than this line, I do. We are over all five moving averages. Again, you can't get too excited over a single candle, right? But hey, my line, roughly speaking, is about 50% of this candle. And for sure, that line is over those two moving averages, right? So even if we fall all the way back to that, I'm actually still bullish, right? So again, over the 200, under the 200, over the 200, under the 200, over the 200, still over the 200 and trying to hold and go, right? That is what technical lines look like. We're used to the rocket, rocket, rocket up, but that's some nice movement right there, right? I like the MACD, obviously red's over green. I don't really like that. You know I want green over red on both, but hey, we never slip back under the zero right? We were negative, we go back up, we were negative, we go back up, we come down, but we stay positive and I'm hoping we flip and go again, right? RSI looks like it's already flipped and went. I see green on top. Let's just click and confirm. Yeah, look at that. RSI is 59, average is 58. That's a very healthy 60. Give me that first day over that 50 average line. We can repeat and hold. We just did it a couple weeks ago, right? So lucid. I like this. Lucid. I actually think, look what happens if we break 440. I love it. I'm not gonna draw the line. I think 490 might be after that 440 line, but yeah, that next one's all the way up there. I don't wanna say that number. Again, this is a $4 stock and you're, you're thinking six, that's that's a big 50% move right there, right? But um, yeah, I, I, I think 490, I think an extra dollar on a, on a 390 stock, I, I think that's an actual realistic target here. Let's look at the weekly very quickly. I like this weekly and it's, it's the exact same thing. I couldn't get over the 50, I couldn't get over the 50. I held not only the 50, but the eight moving average. I love it, that's a good weekly. Oof, that line is right next to where the next one, again, don't think this just yet. I think that's a little aggressive and obviously the weekly is gonna move slower than the daily. 
But yeah, that's a positive MACD that's been on a nice climb. The green has maintained. That's still a real healthy 61 RSI. And we still haven't done great things weekly volume yet. I like Lucid. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions, even if you disagree. Let's take a look at NEO. Hey, NEO has been on a tear and NEO is just coming off earnings that clearly the market enjoyed listening to, all right? So um, I didn't listen to it, honestly. I, I rarely listen to earnings, but again, my opinions and my thoughts and my ears listening to it means nothing, right? What matters is, did we pop or did we drop, right? And and so far, so good, all right? Interesting couple days after, very, very big dojis, and I'll talk about that shortly. But hey, real quick, if you can subscribe, if you can share, oh, it does wonders with these YouTube algorithms here, all right? So, um, Neo, I actually... And it's funny because because I, I I didn't realize that all three of these had a 200 moving average connection. So I, I kind of love that. That actually was um, not intentional. Unintentional was what I was trying to say. I mean, yeah, look at this thing. I'm glad I kept zooming out. Look, since 2021, since August 2021, we've only been over the the 200 moving average for one good month. I'm going to call that good and that horrible, all right? I'm going to turn those two into one. From 2021 all the way through most of 2024, we've been one month over the 200 moving average. That screams difficulty, 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 all right? I, I understand why these dojis are here. I do. All right, there's there's a lot to like about this candle on Monday the 9th. I believe this was the earnings candle, if I'm not mistaken. Nonetheless, you have one doji here, monster candle. I always say the, the candle after the doji tends to tell the real truth, all right? We get another doji and another boom. There's your truth right there. We're now looking at two do dojis right here. And I'll say this. I could see it falling to 518, but I would be extremely bullish if it fell to 518, all right? I would actually be bullish probably till here. I think a fall all the way to 485 would probably still be bullish, all right? And the main reason I say that is Lucid. Look at Lucid. Lucid went couldn't hold hey it at least stayed there ah it came a little lower than i would have liked but yeah now it's kind of doing the thing right what was the first one that i covered polestar polestar right i think it's kind of the same thing up here that's a real difficult line i think we're gonna you know maybe come down a little bit hopefully we don't come down that low i don't know i don't want to go over this one if you just fast forwarded to the other one right but like to me I think the difficulty of the 200 is not something to, to, to just cavalierly assume. And, and I've lost too much money on that 200. You know what I mean? I'm not here to let it laugh at my face again, you know? Again, I didn't mention it on the other ones, but I'll say it here. Tesla is close. Tesla is close to breaking all five moving averages and potentially flying, right? Positive MACD, RSI is just waiting. We're just missing volume, all right? QQQ looks exactly like NASDAQ. This is close. We've got a big wall right here. If NASDAQ, if QQQ can break that two moving average wall, maybe NEO says, you know, don't worry 200 MA. I got the I got the power of the king or the queen for my ladies. I got the power of the indice behind me and go, 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 right? But I think just, just baseline, I'm gonna respect this 80 RSI. You know we've seen higher. You know we've seen 90s, 88s, we've seen 96s. I'm gonna respect the 80 on top of the the last moving excuse me, the last moving average. On top of the fact, one more time, we've only had really one good month over that since 2021, right? I can't stress that enough. Look, I like Neo. I do, right? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just stressing this. And again, I'm going to say it one more time. I think we can fall all the way down. I hope we don't. I actually hope we never fall any lower than 520, which I mentioned a little bit earlier, right? But 
I we can go all the way down to 490 and it, it should be all good. I'm seeing the 20 moving average getting ready to golden cross that 50. I imagine the 20 will actually golden cross the, the 100 moving average. Maybe the 100 moving average even keeps coming up and maybe, I don't know if it's gonna happen in enough time, but I think all those lines can actually form a very, very, very strong support around that 480 that I'm mentioning that again, I hope we never come down to, all right? Ooh, excuse me, little baby hiccup. Um, we looked at the weekly, I think, just in case. Yeah, again, 200 moving average, 50 moving average, zooming out, zooming out, you can see that same 2021, right? And again, you can really see it. It's one good candle on the weekly basically says we only had one good week instead of when I just said on the daily, we had one good month, right? So I actually, I think I appreciate this view a little bit more to emphasize the point, all right? So please, please, please let me know if you disagree. If you think Neo's gonna keep going, hey, let me know why you think it, right? We're just educated people giving our educated opinions, all right? Oh, I appreciate you all so, so much.